How's everybody doing? Well, I thought I'd post a video here on a different subject than I normally would post. Most of my videos will consist of arcades and video games, stuff like that. However, I gotta bring up this book I recently read. This is The Heroin Diaries by Nikki Six. I recently received this for my birthday. Now, I'm not much of a reader. I really don't care to read books that often. You know, mostly all I read is video game magazines. However, this is probably one of the best books I have ever read. It's mind-blowing addictive. Now, for those of you who don't know, Nikki Six is the basis of the rock group Motley Crue. Um, I've always been a fan of Motley Crue. Um, and I got this, I thought I wasn't going to enjoy it, but after a few pages, I was hooked. Now, basically this is a, a book that um, came out not too long ago. Um, the basis of this book is when Motley Crue was at the height of their career, uh, Nikki Six basically was addicted big time to drugs. Um, actually, he was addicted before and after. Heroin was his uh, drug of choice. And he knew he was on the verge of dying or ODing. You know, he would go weeks without showering. So he decided to create a diary. And basically what this book is, is uh, his diary, word for word. Now, how this book goes is, it basically goes, it's a, it's a diary that he made um, a year's length. And you'll read one of his diary entries, which will be like in black. And the red is actually um, Nikki commenting on that particular uh, diary entry. And Nikki isn't the only one that comments. Um, you got comments from uh, Tommy Lee, Vince Neil, Mick Mars, um, uh, Dina Richards, who was um, Nikki's mother. You got uh, Denise Matthews, who you may know as um, Vanity. Uh, from the pr movie Purple Rain. She actually dated Nikki Six. Uh, I did not know that until I read this book. Um, uh, the rock guitarist Slash from Guns N' Roses and Velvet Revolver. He uh, was a longtime friend of Nikki's. So basically the whole book is just his diary and then after an entry you'll have various people commenting on how they remember that particular day. Um, for example, uh, an entry might talk about how Nikki knows he just OD'd, and then you might get um, an entry from Slash who says, "Yeah, I was there, and, and this is you know what I remember." It's very addictive. It's very easy to read, and it's not like your standard book. It's very uh, nicely done on these beautiful pages, and it's almost like a comic book. And I think that's what makes it so easy to read. Uh, he was a pure junkie. Um, in here, he talks about how he had more money than he knew what to do with, and he could lose his fame, his fortune. He didn't care as long as he had his heroin, his drugs. Uh, that's not the only drug he did. He did coke, um, alcohol, all that. But uh, basically, heroin was his choice. You have got to read this book. If you were a fan of uh, Motley Crue or the 80s scene, um, you, you'll love this. You know, he talks about uh, the whiskey, the troubadour, uh, rainbow. It's an awesome book. I highly recommend it. You will probably be addicted to it just like I was. It's very easy to read. And to give you an example, on the back right here, he's quoted as saying, let's see, where is it? Alcohol, acid, cocaine. They were just affairs. When I met heroin, it was true love. So if you want to know what the life is like of a junkie, or heck, a junkie who had more money than he knows what to do with, you got to read this. Trust me, you'll love it. Um, very, very easy to read. And I cannot recommend it enough. Especially if you're a fan of Motley Crue. Even if you're not a fan of Motley anymore, um, which I am. I still I bought their latest CD, but this really gives you an inside look into what goes to the head of a junkie. Um, it's very well written. I highly recommend it. So, hopefully you'll go out and read it.